look at what we need to do to help keep us safe. Yeah, not just lightning, guys, but downed trees and branches can pose a major risk in severe weather. We saw a lot of this all around Denver and Aurora this weekend. Sometimes downed trees hit power lines, and then you have the additional danger of electrocution to worry about. So uh, some things that are very important to remember, if you encounter a downed power line, you need to stay at least 30 feet away from the area. If the ground is wet, as it may be during rainstorms, you need to stay at least 60 feet away in those cases. You should never touch a downed power line with anything and never drive over downed power lines. That is also very dangerous. Uh, but another thing that can raise a concern is if a power line falls onto a car that you're in. So the advice there is you need to stay in the vehicle. Stay in the vehicle, call 911, and wait until emergency crews get on scene. Now, if the vehicle is on fire or posing some kind of additional threat to you, then you need to get out. And what to do in that case, because the ground could be energized, you want to, don't touch the vehicle, you want to jump as far from you can and land on both feet at the same time together, and then take short shuffling steps away from the vehicle until you are safely at a safe distance away where the ground is no longer energized around you. Of course, we hope none of this has to happen and that you never find yourself in these situations, but always good to remember some of these tips if you do. Uh, we're live in Denver, Nicole Brady, Denver 7. And we get lightning here far too often, don't I'm we? I'm taking yeah. her with me wherever we go. <laughs> <laughs> she knows 